Hi, I'm Fiona Bell, and let's talk self-destaining textiles. Traditionally, stains are unintentional and unwanted, resulting in a strong desire to reduce the stain, whereas dyes are intentional and wanted, having a rich history in textile design. So what if we can destain textiles? In this work, we see stains as a mark we can interactively destain to create aesthetic patterns rather than seeing stains as something negative. We thus introduce self-destaining textiles, which are interactive textiles that degrade organic stains using light. Our self-destaining textile works by applying a photocatalytic coating to the surface of the textile that when exposed to light, degrade stains. We use a colorometer instrument to measure color intensity and we calculate this stain degradation based on those measurements. We call these self-destaining textiles because all of the components for stain degradation are embedded within the textile itself. Creating a self-destaining textile takes five steps. Coating, staining, LED integration, programming the textile, and light exposure. We start by coating cotton with silver dope titanium dioxide nanoparticles, which degrade stains when exposed to light. We first explored three methods of coating the cotton with nanoparticles, painting, spraying, and immersing. Painting, yielded the best results over spraying and immersing. We then coated a double woven cotton textile with pockets designed to hold LEDs. After the coating cured, we stained our textile with coffee, a common unintentional stain. We then embedded programmable LEDs by placing them inside the textile's pockets. To make this decision, we explored three possible embedding options. The LED on top of the textile, the LED within a cut hole, and the LED underneath the textile. Our measurements indicated that embedding the LED underneath the textile provided the best light intensity for de-staining. We then wired the LEDs to an Arduino board and programmed them to show our de-staining design. As you can see, we experimented with a cross and a square LED pattern. Lastly, we triggered our self-destaining textile by exposing it to light. The intensity of the light and exposure duration played key roles in self-destaining, with the color of the stain degrading more over time and faster at higher light intensities. After 24 hours of LED exposure, our self-destaining textile degraded our desired pattern. We further explored passive interactions and controlled interactions that the user can have with the self-destaining textiles. For passive interactions, we used laser cut stencils to create a set of photograms that reveal patterns through passive sun exposure over 24 hours. In this perspective, we use the stained textile as our empty canvas, light as our paint, and stencils as our paintbrushes. We also create a hair tie that self destains when passively exposed to sunlight, revealing patterns unique to the user's experiences, movements, and environments, allowing them to encode the memory of a special day into a tangible object. For controlled interactions, we experimented with embedding LEDs into a woven swatch. We also created a station where we can place the self-destaining textile on top of a programmed LED matrix. We use this station to pattern a phone case. To obtain a new design, the user can simply restain, reprogram, and re-expose the textile. In conclusion, we developed self-destaining textiles that interactively degrade stains to create aesthetic patterns. Thank you all for listening. I want to 
give a huge shout out to all my co-authors and I am now happy to take questions. <laughs>